Hi, so in a previous video we came up with this stuff. This is hemp plastic. Actually it's hemp casein and tea, but it's a hemp based plastic and somebody asked a really valuable question, can you injection mould it? And to be honest at the time I didn't have the answer, mostly because I didn't have an injection moulding machine and I didn't have the money to buy one. But King's School at Canterbury came to the rescue and they gave us this thing on long term loan and this is an injection moulding machine. So we got very, very excited because it meant we could see if our hemp-based plastic would in fact injection mould. And the cool thing is, it does! It's absolutely awesome! So here is my first effort of injection moulding it into a disc. And you've got to say, that's actually pretty poor. Um, so we've got all the sprues absolutely everywhere. But here's the disc here that we injection moulded out of our hemp plastic. So all we do is pour this plastic into the top of the hopper shake the hopper a little bit to fill this plunger with the plastic and then wind this handle down and if you wind that handle down it falls out if you wind that handle down plunger goes down into the injection nozzle and into the mold here and it's a mold of that ring that i just showed you now that first one which was pretty poor i did at 200 degrees centigrade because i figured hey, I don't know what temperature this works at, let's put it really high. So I did put it really high, and it shot the plastic out the top as a solid block of plastic, which I then put back in and turned the temperature down. So I started moulding this at 80 degrees C. And at 80 degrees C, with quite a lot of force, all I can actually do is get it into the sprue. So there's the sprue from the mould that I managed to get it into at 80 degrees C. I've now got it at 90 degrees C, and basically I'm going to go up by 10 degrees centigrade to find where that point is that it will injection mould properly. Now there's quite a lot of work to do on this thing because this is our first effort. We, we just mixed this up in a, a random ratio. I have no idea if it's the best ratio or not. So we need to do some work to find out where the optimum for that is. Because to be honest, after injection moulded, Instead of being a hard plastic, it, it came out sort of rubbery, to be honest, which is curious, because it's quite flexible now. We want it hard, and that's obviously to do with the mix ratio that we use. So we've got to investigate the mix ratio, we've got to investigate the temperatures, and there's quite a lot of work to do. But it should be really exciting. Now it's made from this, this is the hemp bast fibre, and I got this donated as a long fibre, and to be honest, as a long fibre, it's a bit of a pain. What I really want is um, chopped fibre in, in sort of the half centimetre range. So if anybody's got any chopped fibre they care to donate, then please feel free. I'd be more than happy to receive a couple of bags of chopped fibre to help develop this along, really, because the good thing about this is it's biodegradable. So we can injection mould it, it's based on a renewable and it is biodegradable. If you stick that in a compost heap and come back a week or two with later, it'll be completely gone because it's made out of protein and grass, if you like. So it is just really, really good for making things like packages or uh, bottles or, or bits of armchair or whatever it is you want to make out of this thing. And then when you throw it away, you don't get particulate plastics in the sea. It's, it's protein, it gets eaten, basically. So it's very cool, and um, we will be developing this further. Another thing is, if there's a company out there who wants to look at de developing this with us, then we'd be more than open to talking to people about that, about how we would go around developing it, because it clearly has potential. We have a hard plastic, bioplastic, that is injection moldable, that could revolutionise the plastic industry. So we're pretty keen on this, really. Anyway, I thought I'd share that with you, because... It was so exciting that the thing came out of the mould that we actually got something injection moulded. We got a bit excited. So we haven't finished. It's quite a lot of work still to do to get that optimised. But I wanted to share with you where it was because it is actually just so awesome. Anyway, I hope that was of interest and thank you very much for watching.